Start. Then. Hello again, this is BGFH, and welcome back to the Illegally Cited YouTube channel here. And today I want to show you another iOS app. And today I'm going to show you the iBlink Radio app, which is available for free in the App Store. And I'll go to my app switcher here. And, uh... Safari. iBlink Radio. iBlink Radio. Here we go. iBlink Radio. So, this is an app that was developed uh, by Serotech Corporation. Serotech, the same guys who brought us the System Access and uh, SamNet and DocuScan Plus, which I have covered a little bit on the channel so far. I would like to go back and try to maybe redo some of that if I can get some better PC recording software, because uh, I knew there was some glitches with some of the uh, text-to-speech audio on those videos, but, uh, you know, nevertheless, um, in addition to all their PC screen reader and uh, software stuff, they also, uh, it's been out for a while now, but they've, came out, they've come out with this uh, iBlink radio app, and it's kind of handy. Um, it basically started as a way to kind of collect, uh, collect a way to to listen to the SPN, the Serotalk podcast network stuff. Uh, you know, they have a lot of different podcasts available, which I have probably mentioned at some point either on the blog and or YouTube channel. You know, uh, w as you'll see on the main page here, we got a lot of them. So. Let's just jump right into it, and then I'll show you some of the additions that I really kind of like for this little app. So, iBlink Radio, heading. iBlink Radio. Uh, it's a very simple interface, and what we have here, I'm just going to flick to the right. Connect to SamNet. We'll come back to you in a minute. Connect to SamNet. That is one of the new features that I'm really actually liking. Listen to Zero Talk Podcast 166, Safari Plus Windows Eggles Bad. All right, so there's the Zero Talk Podcast, the latest episode. Submit an iReport. Submit an iReport. This is basically um, on any of their shows. You can send like a audio, quick audio file um, to them, basically about a topic, and they'll play it on. They'll probably play it on one of their podcasts, whether it be their main. Sarah Talk One or Triple Click Home, that Android show, end of line, whatever, all of their various shows that they offer. 2013 convention coverage. They also do a really good job, uh, especially over the last couple of years, they've really built it up where they'll go to like CSUN and the summer blindness conferences, you know, NFB, ACB. And they'll cover the show floor, do a lot of interviews with all the booths and stuff. So if you're not really, you know, if you're not actually able to be there, uh, they have you covered pretty well. So they cover a lot of the products that are actually on the show floor, ask some pretty good questions, um, get some hands-on demos and stuff sometimes. And even in the last few shows, they've started uh, having a couple of sessions recorded, really techni uh, technology sessions recorded, which has been really kind of nice. Audio tutorials and interviews. Audio tutorials and interviews. I'm not even sure what's in there. Let's go in there real quick. Audio, tut audio tutorials uh, and interviews. Okay. All with my iPhone. All with my iPhone. So, you know, again, everyone is really crazy about this iOS device thing. So, we right off the bat, we get some iPhone stuff. Android, iOS, and audio production from blindtechsupport.net. Okay. How to download files with the SamNet browser or IE10. All right. Listen to our SPN special using the SamNet Socializer. Macintosh audio demos by Mike R. Eco. Okay, that guy's really cool. Uh, he does a lot of like instructional and kind of uh, like walkthrough vi uh, videos or, or audio, I should say. Audio files and stuff like that. Podcasts. Cool guy there. Upgrading to Microsoft Windows 7 from Vista. Ew, Vista. Anyway. Using Bard with SamNet. Bard with SamNet. Braille and uh, the Braille Using and Goku's digital audio. Plus. Using your voice to control your computer using Windows 7 or Vista. Alright, so these are kind of some tutorials and stuff that various people have uh, submitted and that Serotech has done themselves. I think I recognize that one. That was one of the ones that I believe Matt Campbell did. Let's double tap on that just so you can see the using your voice interface. To your using Today I want to talk Audio tutorials about and interviews. speech recognition. Oh, okay. And it's Windows boom, it's playing. Vista and the new Windows 7 give you the opportunity Pause. to control your computer with voice command. All right, so boom, Play. you know, Button. you just it 
you select your uh, audio file and it just starts playing. Now this screen is very simple, there's not much there. We've got a back button. Audio tutorials and interviews. Back button. If I flick right. Using your voice to control your computer. Add preset. Button. I can add this to a preset, which means if I want to come back to it often, it's something that I really like, or maybe I just want to listen to it later, I can add it to a preset, and then I'll have to navigate through and try to find it again. Play. Button. I've got to play. Volume. 60 airplay button. Volume and airplay. And that's it. Um, very simple interface. Really can't get lost there. Um, but yeah, really nice simple interface. And then the main part of the screen is just kind of this big old white area. Nothing really there. But let's go back. Audio tutorials and interview. I blink radio. Back button. Back button. I'm going to pop out of these tutorials. Blindness resource. Audio Let's tutorials see. and interviews. Audio, audio tutorials and interviews. Let's uh, go back and we'll flick to the right again. Blindness resources. Blindness resources. There's some good good stuff under there. I'm not going to go into every one of these links because, like I said, there's so many resources. Um, actually, here that if I did that, I, we'd be here all day. Community radio. Community radio. Um, that's kind of neat where... They've started to pool together some of the resources, uh, like radio stations that are uh, produced by some blind and visually impaired individuals. EOL Extra, Noms Edition, Victory is Life. So there's one of the EOL episodes. So what they do, they try to do is they mix in some of these general links, and then they also put in a lot of their kind of, you know, they highlight their latest content, uh, content from their Serotalk Podcast Network. So we get EOL. Listen to High Contrast episode 13. High Contrast. School. That's their low vision podcast. I forgot about that one. Listen to our SPN special, AT Trainers. Okay. So that's one of those uh, that's one of those items that was on on the uh, conferences that were recorded during one of the summer conventions. Listen to our SPN special, Hims and FB Workshop Part 1. Listen to our SPN special. Listen to our SPN special using the Sandnet Socializer. Listen to Cero Spectives this month in Tech for July. 2013. So you get the idea. I mean, you can just keep on going. Uh, let's just scroll down a ways. Replay the accessible event archive of this month in tech for podcasts. Oh, and then we have a podcast. So again, they feature a lot of, uh, you know, blindness podcasts all in one place. So you don't have to go find them. Um, a lot of them are technology based, you know, but not all of them are. Um, there's just a variety of different podcasts under there. Search. I can search. Local content. Local content. About. Local content. Yeah, what's in there? I don't, I don't even Local know. Local content. Local content. I blink radio. What does that even do? Content. I'm not sure. SPN radio. Your station. <clears throat> Community. Okay, so that's all that's under there right now. That's their own kind of radio station, which um, <clears throat> the SPN radio, not only do they, is it just kind of like a radio station where they, they play music, but again, when their conferences are on, like CSUN and the summer conferences, I blink radio. they Back. will be streaming live. You know, it's not archived right away. Um, but if you want to, if you want to, you know, catch any of that stuff, um, you can catch it live as it happens as they stream it on their radio station. Let's go back up to the very Listen top. To triple, rows ten, rows one to ten of twenty. And Ooh, connect to Samnet. Let's connect to connect Samnet. To Samnet. Now I have Samnet logged home. in already, so thankfully I it does radio. remember who That's I am. Fun. I don't have to enter it every time. But what's cool about this is I don't have every feature. Uh, I don't have the wonderful new socializer, which I would like to cover at some point on this channel as well. But a lot of the content that you have um, in your Samnet browser or Samnet in general. Email. Listen to Zero Talk Podcast 166. Safari plus Windows equals bad. Email. So I got email. My newspaper. Entertainment. Media live notes. Weather. NLS login. That looks pretty darn familiar to me. So that's, uh, yes, there we go. So all of this stuff is just built right into um, the iBlink Radio app, which is really nice because the two things that I love to use this for is I like to use it for the My Newspaper uh, feature where I can just quickly pop into, well, My Newspaper. My newspaper. My newspaper. And I have My so newspaper. much stuff under here. I'm just going to boom, H2, boom, H2, boom, H2, you know, go H5, through so H6 much stuff. 13. Joystick news. Joystick podcast. Le main menu podcast. Link. So, I mean, these are all the things Send it home. Back button. that are in my newspaper. All my links for podcasts, for uh, the text RSS feeds that I've done for news and stuff. 
all that stuff is in there, and it's just I can access it there. So I really like that. The other thing that people kind of like, and I have to admit I've used a time or two myself. Minus paper. Entertainment. 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 So they also Sandbox. include. Button. Describe video programming. Yeah. Descri so let's say that somebody wants to listen to some stuff on the go or just kind of stream it on their phone. Support Sarah Deck. Safe television programs and documentaries. So let's say it will just television go TV and this time. Arrow. Amer All in the family. American experience. Arrow. Ashes to ashes. Balakas Angel. I'm just kind of scrolling through here, but there's a bunch of these. Oil. I was listening to some Simpsons episodes not too long ago. <laughs> that was pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff on here. I can go to any one of these and just start playing it. So even the protected content, like this, you know, the descriptive videos and stuff, even that content Describe video programming. is there. So that's, you know, I said a lot of people are going to like that. The one suggestion that I would absolutely love to see, there's actually two suggestions and they tie together. Uh, and I've actually emailed uh, Saratech on this too, just as a kind of a feedback. <clears throat> the two things that I would really like to see, let me switch back to my recording Photos. X app here first and just make sure we got enough time. Yeah, we do. Ready. All right. So the two things, and if you guys really, if uh, Saratech is listening, um, <laughs> He said, these would be the two suggestions that I would really love to see in both SamNet and especially the uh, iBlink radio app. So, I love the fact that I can access my newspaper. And I would love, the, I'd love to have the ability to organize my newspaper into various folders. So, what I would more than likely do for myself is I would have, like, there's a core set of, I mean, I have a whole load, probably over a hundred things in this whole My Newspaper thing. And I would love to be able to put all of my really regular podcasts that I listen to on a very, you know, on a weekly or very regular basis into a folder. Put all my regular, regularly checked or tech new, uh, news text RSS feeds into another folder. You know, put some of these ones that are just, yeah, I check them every once in a while, but just kind of get them out of the way and pop back to them when I can. Put them in another folder. So just being able to organize by folder in my newspaper would be a very welcome feature. But the thing that I would really, really, really absolutely love is I would love the ability in iBlink Radio to have speed controls for all of the spoken content. So I would love the ability to be able to say speed up podcasts that I can access both directly through iBlink Radio and through Samnet my newspaper. I would love to be able to like currently right now like I said a few times I use my Victor Reader stream to listen to various podcasts and audible content because I um, can speed things up very quickly, just like a lot of blind and visually impaired users are actually used to speeding up their talking book players or, you know, things like that, and their speed synthesizers on their computer once they get used to them. Um, but I would love the ability to be able to speed things up to a pretty high degree. There are a couple of other apps. Um, the... The Downcast app, for instance, does speed it up a little bit, and I covered the Audible app already, and remember that one sped things up a little bit, but again, like I said, we're so used to, uh, some of us are really used to speeding it up a bit more, and I would love the ability, you know, it's not something that a mainstream crowd is probably going to want, you know, they're like, you guys are nuts for listening to it that fast, but a lot of us are used to it, a lot of us like it. And I think that's where, you know, Saratech being an assistive technology company, you know, really understands their users and um, I think would be more likely to add that kind of a feature. So, like I said, that, those would be the really two things that I really love to see improved in the app or added to the app. Otherwise, it's a great app. That is the Saratech iBlink Radio, available for free in the App Store right now. Until next time, we'll talk to you guys later. Stop.